Hi, my name is Samantha Harker, and welcome to my Art History 112F Art History Project. Let's first start by going back to the basics. Everyone has seen or heard of some form of art. Art serves as a form of expression for a vast amount of people. Different forms of art serve individuals culturally or just for aesthetically pleasing purposes. Today, I'll be delving into a deep analysis of Samuel Anoints David, which is a detail of the main interior wall of the synagogue in Dura Europolis, Syria. Although I could just show you an image of the artwork, I think art should first be analyzed from the basics. Let's ask ourselves, what would the artist do to create this work? By asking ourselves, what would the artist do? We know that before we can even analyze how the piece should be created, we have to know the origins. Samuel Anoints David is a piece on the main interior wall of the synagogue in Dura Europus, Syria. Now what is a synagogue? A synagogue can simply be described as a house of prayer that is significant to the Jewish religion. Transitioning over to the historical aspects of synagogues, according to Wikipedia, Dura Europos is an ancient synagogue that was uncovered in 1932. Another interesting fact is that the last phase of construction was dated back by an Aramaic inscription to 244 CE, making it one of the oldest synagogues in the entire world. Furthermore, the piece that we are going to analyze is significant to the Jewish culture and religion. Focusing on the geographical emphasis, Dira Europus was a small garrison and trading city on the river Euphrates, and usually on the frontier between the Eastern Roman Empire and the Parthian, and finally the Sasanian empires of Persia. It changed hands at various points, but was Roman from 165 CE, before the final Persian destruction of the town between 256 and 257 CE. Diverting away from our history lesson for one moment, this ancient synagogue has survived wars, weather conditions, and many more frivolous conditions that make its physical condition absolutely astonishing. This information only attests the beauty of its survival as well as its cultural significance to the Jewish culture. The site Bible Odyssey describes Samuel anoints David as a third century piece that represents the earliest biblical images known in art. The notion indicates that Samuel anoints David is one of the oldest religious pieces in existence. Bible Odyssey also states that the synagogue was built in 244 or 245 CE and destroyed in 256 CE with the Sassanid attack of the city. This rapid destruction helped pervert, preserve its frescoes, whose discovery in the French-American excavations in the 1920s marked a new beginning of the study of Jewish art. Frescoes is the type of mural painting style that uses water heavily. CUNY Academy Commons further elaborates that when the complex was excavated, the Torah and shrine and its scrolls and the canopy over the Assyrio and the wooden bima, the lampstand whose holes are in the floor, were not found in the house of assembly or synagogue, nor were any mats, carpets, or benches. Despite no physical landmarks surviving, the murals did survive and currently are observed today. CUNY Academy Commons also states that it is not possible to know what the destiny of the population was. Dura Europus became a deserted city submerged by sand until its discovery last century, around 1920, when British soldiers were digging the city circuit wall for a machine gun emplacement. Although wars seemed to gravitate around the murals, they seem to have enabled its discovery as well as its geographic safety. The background information regarding the piece Sam Millenoid's David, as well as the other murals, once again attests to the immense history surrounding the peace and the Jewish culture. Dabbling further into Jewish history, the story of the Jews by Shamash Saman illustrates how the Torah, the Jewish rendition of the Bible, is read backwards, right to left, to demonstrate how the Jewish story is filled with tragic events and foreknowledge. The pages of the Torah, although brutal and long, demonstrate the history of the Jewish people and religion. How does this tie into the artwork, you may wonder? It demonstrates that falling of the Dura Europus Synagogue is an event in Jewish history that was not uncommon due to the numerous instances of exile. Another novel, At Home in Exile, by Wolf Allen, describes how a survey of over 500,000 Jews currently living in Israel and a large portion feels obligated and drawn to their homeland. 
The author elaborates that they feel outcasted in the States and other various locations in response to the Palestinian influence as well as German upbringings. In a similar sense, my great-grandma survived the Holocaust and escaped but lived in so much fear that she ended up changing her name. Common, simple information like this highlights a disparity in emotional equality due to the numerous occasions of exile in the Jewish culture. The collapse of the Dura Europis synagogue is just another instance of this sort of treatment. Ashley Rothbart, a student at Hofstra University, describes Samuel anoints David in her research project. Ashley directly states that the prophet Samuel anoints the future king of Israel while the sons of Jesse stand in a line. The painter draws attention to Samuel by depicting him larger than the rest, and David is dressed in a purple toga garment seemingly foreshadowing his royal status. This idea segues into the now apparent appearance of the art piece. When examining Samuel anoints David, we can see that David is obviously a larger figure in the painting. All individuals depicted within the mural maintain a sort of faded orange pigment for their skin color. The skin pigmentation is most likely due to the melanin levels in relation to their geographical location. All individuals are depicted in togas and David is in the most bold and illuminated toga of all the individuals. Similar to what Ashley said, this makes him stand out as he is larger and in a more prominent figure. The background of the piece appears to be cracked and faded as the mural itself is quite old. There is a border around the central area which has an alternating zigzag line type of depiction. The lineage itself does not detract from the overall image as it is subdued and so is the background. So the main focus of the image stands out quite prominently. Another interesting feature I notice is that all of the figures are male and have brown or black hair. Overall, the main fresco color scheme is depicted in brown, black, a faded yellow, white, pink, purple, and some hints of green. The coloration scheme ultimately adds to the piece and makes it a very diverse and colorful depiction. The piece is easy to look at and easy to understand due to the size and shape of the figures within the piece. The position and angles at which they are standing, if you look at their feet, you can tell that most of them are at an angle and position to look at the anointment. In summation, Samuel Anoints David is a crucial piece that is currently conta contained in the National Museum of Damascus in Syria. This wall mural from the synagogue at Dura Europis is crucial to the Jewish culture and religion, and it has many historical significance in many wars and events. Thank you for watching my video. I hope you enjoyed and learned something about Samuel Anoints David. Here's a list of my seven sources that I used throughout this presentation. Thank you.